All right, Coach Dang is back. Week 10 following a demoralizing loss against the Bengals in Week 9. 56-41. It was an interesting game. It was just that uh, we made too many mistakes, fumbled the ball too much. Cody Bailey had multiple fumbles. Larry Smith had a killer fumble late in the game. And our defense obviously didn't play that well. We allowed a lot of points. Anytime you allow 56 points and turn over the ball, what, like four times overall, it's going to be a tough day for you. And it was. Cody Bailey had a great day passing. But when you fumble and when you throw some unfortunate interceptions, one was my fault, uh, you know, you're going to lose. And we did. 56-41. Week 10, bouncing back against the Eagles. Hopefully they are 6-2 and two at the top of the NFC East right now. This is a really important game for we're seeding in the playoffs if we were even make it to the playoffs this is almost a must-win game when you see the nfc east here you know this is a huge huge game we're still in striking distance with the cowboys but we have to beat the eagles today if we want even a chance of making the playoffs i think this is the game we have to win and week 18 might be a very important game against the eagles if we are able to make it that far winning the vast majority of our next couple games. I mean, we have to win. We have to win pretty much every single game if we're going to make the playoffs. Six losses. You can make the playoffs nowadays with a 17-game schedule pretty easily, I think, with six losses. But you have to pretty much keep it at six. Once you get to seven, it gets a little bit more difficult. Eight, it's going to be very difficult at that point to make the playoffs, but not impossible. Just the Cowboys are so good in simulation, and the Eagles are playing really well in sim this year. And part of that, I would imagine is from what we're seeing here. Only three turnovers this year, averaging nearly 30 points per game. They've been exceptional. And we're going to hopefully try and shut down Jalen Hurts. I think the way to do that is to defend the short pass and keep our players healthy. We're getting back to full strength, which is important for success, obviously. When players stay healthy, they give us the best chance to win. And they brought in Tremaine Edmonds. They brought in Derwin James. This is a really good Eagles team. Only 15 sacks this year, though, which could, could bode well for us. I kind of like throw it deep in that case. So I think I think we might opt to do that. Now, we didn't really go after Derwin James in free agency because, one, we had Xavier McKinney already on a long-term contract, and we were really thinking about drafting uh, safety, which we ended up doing that with Glenn Gore. So we didn't get Derwin James, didn't end up going after him. He signs with our division rival, of course, and here we are gonna be a really interesting game today i think we're on par with them i really do at full health which it seems like we're gonna be on defense and offense i think we can easily go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this team they've got a great offensive line they've got some really good players on defense but this is a beatable team because i think we are a pretty good team we just got to start playing a little bit better and once we do that Man, it's going to be really, really tough to beat us. We're going to go ahead and upgrade slot for Larry Smith, upgrade short route running, hopefully. And we get it by one, catching by one, catching traffic by one, and agility by one. So now catching traffic is an 80. Route running is getting to be pretty good overall. Catching's playing up to a 90. We're in a good spot. Just no mistakes, no fumbles late in the game. Home field advantage. I like our chances of winning this game. I really do. 285 overall teams. We got to win this game. And you know what it is? It's the confidence. Sunday night primetime, Sunday night football live at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Coach Dangus giving his all-time best 40 speed. Last game, Cody Bailey threw for over 440 yards and five touchdowns unbelievably high output and part of that is because we could not run the football for the life of us hopefully that changes today Tremaine Edmonds wearing number 19 at middle linebacker we got to win this game I really would like to run the ball with Saquon Barkley but we found success throwing the football last week we really really did we can throw the football but when your offense becomes one-dimensional obviously it becomes really really tough to win but I have confidence in this team we're starting to play really, really well now that Nick Duvall is back. Now that we're really healthy, Andrew Thomas is back at left tackle. This is a really good team, and we got to win today. I can't emphasize that enough. Jalen Hurts has had a really, really good season. 2,200 yards to 16, or 16 touchdowns to two interceptions. And yeah, I think like 16 interceptions or 16 touchdowns at week 10 isn't like the craziest stat line, but you assume he probably has some rushing touchdowns in there as well. But only two interceptions is being extremely careful with the football. And he's going to go deep on the first play. 
trying to catch us napping a bit, and I think he did. Thankfully, the coverage was good. I cannot speak today. I am struggling, but Jalen Hurts is their quarterback. Jimmy Garoppolo at number two, Carson Strong at number three. Running back is Miles Sanders, Kenneth Gainwell, and Henry Jackson. I think he was a first round, maybe a second round running back in that first draft class. Fullback is Telvin Campbell. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith. We saw Chase Claypool on that deep shot already. Marquez Callaway. Tight end, of course, is Dallas Goddard and Mark Whitlock, who is the Stanford tight end alongside Nick Duvall. He ended up going like third round, and uh, we took Jaden Rhodes to be our third tight end uh, instead of Mark Whitlock because Whitlock was off the board, but that's kind of who I preferred. Jordan Mailata is their starting left tackle with Landon Dickerson. Chandler Meadows, the rookie center over Cam Jurgens. Free safety. It, see, like, why am I saying free safety? Like, is my brain broken? Forrest Lamp, the former first round pick, I believe, out of Western Kentucky by the Chargers, is their right guard. Right tackle is the longtime beast, Lane Johnson. If, dude, if I am saying free safety for right guard on Forrest Lamp, give me a long game. I can tell you that much. I'm clearly not in a good spot. It is already third down, and this one's going to be intercepted. Darnay Holmes steps in front of A.J. Brown, and he, Jalen Hurts has thrown his third pick of the year. Darnay Holmes getting down, making a big play. Hurts just, you know, opens up, fires to the sideline, and Darnay Holmes read it the entire way. Steps in front of A.J. Brown and gives us the football. Momentum is so critical. And we just, I think, got a whole lot of it. If we can go ahead and keep that going with a good drive here from Cody Bailey in the offense, 20 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 2,500 yards passing, we're going to be in a really good spot to win this game. When the when the offense gives you a gift, you got to go ahead and capitalize. We get the football on the 37, and here is the defense we'll be matched up against. Left end is Josh Sweat. Pretty good pass rusher, decent athlete as well, AJ Epineza. Monty Rankin, I believe, was a first round pick in the, the first draft out of Mizzou. Taj Brown. Jordan Davis, obviously, is a monster. Jordan Davis is a stud. 80 speed, 97 strength combo, 87 acceleration. He could be a problem today. Milton Williams, Davion Nixon in there as well. Uh, kind of a hybrid linebacker here with Hassan Reddick. Tremaine Edmonds, Nicobe Dean might see the field a bit today. Kaiser White. He actually might be the sub linebacker over Jacoby Dean. Corners, James Bradbury, Avante Maddox, the former Giant, had to get cut. Cap casualty for the Giants. They couldn't sign their draft class if they kept him. He's balled out for Philadelphia in real life. Darius Williams, the first round pick, Paul Burke, I believe, out of Iowa. We had our eye on him. Six foot two with 91 speed, 95 acceleration corner. Free safety is another former Giant in Jabril Peppers with someone we went after in free agency, Derwin James. Uh, we didn't end up really going after him because he signed a contract extension with the Chargers in real life, but I should have gone after him. But we also had Xavier McKinney. You know, we had uh, we had Glenn Gore in the draft we were looking at. So we just went a different direction, and we're going to go a different direction here, going deep for Nick Duvall and scoring on the very far first offensive snap. Unbelievable start for the G-Men. We had the outside. It was an option. We opted to go a different way. Jump ball for Nick Duvall and a perfect pass to Nick Duvall who makes an incredible catch. Unbelievable. We strike first. What a start to this game. It was also mentioned how we should move to a 4-3 in the comments. I disagree with that. And uh, that's mainly because uh, I have just set up the team wrong sometimes where the, you know guys get injured, the depth chart gets auto-reordered, and Jeffrey Simmons gets bumped to the outside as a rush end instead of being a rush D tackle. So this is actually how it's supposed to look, and um, we are just best suited for a 3-4 completely. Like, completely best suited for a 3-4. I, I get what you mean with a 4-3, right? Maybe it even plays better in Madden. But the defense, personnel-wise, it could not be better than in a 3-4. This is perfect for us, trust me. They're going to run the ball. Read option. Dontrell Cobb shoves Jalen Hurst to the ground. Holds him to two yards. That's right. We got to be aware of the read option today. That could be something Philadelphia tries to use to their advantage. 
this second and eight. If we have this momentum, though, we're going to be in a good spot. And that is wide open. Chase Claypool again. Getting a lot of targets here early. It's a run. Had to be aware of read options. Simmons can't make the tackle. Derek Cooper ends up bringing him down. Is Hurts going to scramble here? He's going to get brought down. Actually getting a little bit of pressure to start in this game. We're showing Dontrell Cobb, but I want to say Dexter Lawrence was heavily involved in making that play happen. Let's see. Jeffrey Simmons got initial pressure, and then Dexter Lawrence brought him down. But Jeffrey Simmons was actually the reason that that, that play happened. I don't know if he's going to get a half sack or not, but he made the play happen. It brings up third down and 10. Sanders is the lone back. Three tight end set here in 13 personnel for the Eagles. Hurt's gonna look to scramble, and he's gonna get brought down by Thibodeau. Kayvon Thibodeau with the sack. Keeping full momentum. I can't believe it. Two sacks in a game is crazy for us lately, let alone two on the same drive. But Hurt's really just ran right into both of them, especially that one. Couldn't get to the outside. Thibodeau drags him down. This is off to a dream start. In a game we had to win, uh, we're playing like it as Larry Smith will return the kick, get to the outside, and have a decent return there to the 45. No complaints after a run like that. Saquon, not bad. I really, really want to take a deep shot here, but we're just going to check down to Saquon Barkley. He makes a nice move, but can't end up fooling anybody. Tremaine Edmonds is there, Derwin James as well. But the offense is clicking right now. We are very one-dimensional three passes and three offensive snaps. We're going to change that here with a run. Saquon Barkley looking for space ends up just getting pushed back. Second down and 10. Little check down. Oh, that was a huge broken tackle. Big block from Duvall. We kind of ended up having two routes in the same spot. Duvall was on an out. Barkley was on something. Jordan Davis with the big pressure. That one could have been really, really bad. Close to an interception, but hey, it wasn't. Close, but no cigar. First and 10. Still moving the ball well. We're lobbing it up. It's going to be intercepted. Oh my God. Under pressure. Inaccurate. I'm going to be sick. I want to throw a jump ball, man. It falls right into the lap of Kaiser White. It's so, uh, so frustrating. Like Saquon, if he just could have locked for longer. I mean, Nick Duvall is going to end up being open on this play. Splitting the safeties. If we just had another second, I get that he's under pressure. I, I get that he's about to be hit here. But the fact that this is underthrown by about 15 yards crushes us because I really think that would have been a touchdown. And other than uh, the check down to Saquon, I think it was the right call. It's getting aggressive, but I think it would have been good. It, with a good throw, it's a touchdown. This is not open, by the way. I know I'm going to see some genius say this is wide open. Uh, safety would have been there. Corner was there. But that's a really frustrating turnover. I don't think it was getting too aggressive. I think the key to winning this game is being aggressive. But uh, it did not work because we couldn't get it there. We need time. We need time. And I'll tell you something else. Is Eric McCoy injured? Eric McCoy is out four weeks. I, we, I, I noticed that we had our freaking late round pick center in the game. And he is a decent pass protector. Cannot run block for anything. Let me show you his run block. It's got to be, yeah, it's 63. 62 run block power, 60 run block finesse. Pass block finesse isn't good either, but power and pass block are generally okay. We just didn't have time. It, it's really that one play. I can't believe that's a pick. I mean, I get it, but it's a, it's a frustrating time to throw one. No, well, defense just has to continue balling out. Hurt's going to scramble and get brought down. Gets the first down, though. Uh, hit RB. I was going for the football there. I wanted a fumble. I mean, a turnover there would have been would have been huge. It, it's clear, though, that they've got a strategy, and it is run the ball with Jalen Hurts as Miles Sanders going to lose a yard or two. John Bost, I think, got him first. Kayvon Thibodeau in there as well. John Bost has, uh, has, has impressed me of late, even though our defense overall has not been so good. Second and 11. Hurts with a little throw to the outside. Akeel Edmonds is there, knocks him out of bounds. First down, I think it was Devontae Smith. Third and four. Throw outside. Big tackle by McKinney. Oh, my goodness. Xavier McKinney saves a first down. Grant Calcaterra in the flat. Met at the sticks and could not go past Xavier McKinney. 
Huge stop, we'll get the football back, so the interception ends up not hurting us at all. It'll look ugly on the stat sheet, no doubt, but doesn't actually amount to anything. Try running the ball. Little juke, Saquon, not a bad run. 15 rushes for 58 yards last week. He's really slowed down. The injuries to the offensive line obviously have not helped, so not really much to say about that. It's just injuries are a part of the game, they happen and these linebackers are absolutely trying to bait me into throwing the ball. We're going to run anyway. We're going to run right past them. Saquon Barkley up the middle. There's a good juke. There's a great run. And Saquon's brought it back close to midfield. Interception backed us up a lot. But Saquon getting it all back. And after two big runs, we're going to work off play action. Linebacker's not really fooled by it. And we couldn't get the football out. I don't know how. Josh Sweat on the pressure in the sack. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's tough. And we're backed up. An unfortunate amount here. Second and 19 is just a really tough down and distance. We're just going to try and get some of that back with Jaden Rhodes here. Make it third and 11. Third and 11. I don't know why I, I got rid of the football so quickly. I, I really wanted to go to Nick Duvall quickly, but the linebacker kind of shaded over to him immediately. And then I'm like, okay, if, if Nick Duvall's covered, Larry Smith will be open on the slant. He never got any separation on the slant. I mean, none. Uh, but I, I was way too hasty there. I guess I am a little bit worried about the pass rush, but I mean, we threw the ball way too quickly. Duvall was covered. Looked like Tony was covered. Odell covered. Saquon covered, yeah. But I mean, threw the ball way too quickly. Do have a great kicker, though. Can't see the kick arc, unfortunately. I don't really know why that is. Is that a distance thing? I don't know why we can't see it. But we are gonna try a field goal from deep. Wyatt Anthony on a line and good. 10-0 Giants. Didn't get the touchdown. It looked like we were gonna score a touchdown for sure that drive, but we took a sack and opportunity goes away. Holding when you or a sack. You know, any of those big plays, it'll back you up. They pretty much make it, I don't want to say impossible, but next to impossible to score is Akeel Edmonds popped the football loose on the return. Big fumble, but we can't jump on it. Is Hurts going to run? I think he's going to, and he's going to slide. Is Hurts going to scramble? Looks like he's going to. Oh, Jalari can't get to him, and Hurts is going to slide. Already five rushing attempts. I feel like he had options there, just he wanted to scramble. It's third and one. Come on. Get in there. Cobb can't do it. Broken tackle by Sanders. Would have been a first down anyway. To run. We got to always be ready for read option. But it's going to be a tough play to defend with Jalen Hurts. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're going to be able to run the ball well today, it seems. See, this is read option, and we just were not ready for it. Although Adoree Jackson made a great tackle, and somehow that didn't count as a tackle. Great play from Adoree Jackson. Big credit to him. Second and nine. We have an opportunity here. We're going to go over the middle. Dontrell Cobb going to wrap up Miles Sanders, but they get some yards back. It's third and five. Is a man blitz the right call here? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Got to get over the middle. Hurts looking like he's going to scramble. Get after him. Thibodeau forces the slide. Hurts is short of the line to gain. And on fourth and one from the 50, they're going to punt with Corey Bajorquez. That is a pitch made call. But it's a good punt ish. First down and 10. Quick throw to Nick Duvall, and Duvall drops it. Dude, you can't. You can't right there. You can't. How do you catch the first pass when that felt like it was nearly impossible, but drop that? As Tony will get six for us. Third down and five. Who wants to make a play? Larry Smith is wide open. Larry made the play, gets 16. Just over three minutes to play here in this first half. We are up 10-0. And we're going to throw it up. Larry Smith running underneath it. Big catch, good speed. Gets to the sideline. Clock will stop. Huge play by this Giants offense. We've played well today. It's just been a few mistakes. It's been a few mistakes, obviously. It always seems to be. But not the end of the world right now. 
I feel like overall we're getting the football out quickly, but drops like that don't help. Saquon can't hold on to the football. Yeah, I'm gonna run the ball on second and 10. Jordan Davis is fast, but just not fast enough. We make it a little bit more manageable here on third down and six. Hassan Reddick on Larry Smith, dude, that is such a mismatch. We have to take advantage of that, and we do. Larry Smith first down, and that'll take us to the two minute warning. When you see a linebacker on a 97, 98 speed receiver, it's gotta be a first down every single time to him. And he was in zone coverage too. I worry about what it would have looked like in man coverage. I think he probably would have blanketed the route. First and 10 following the two minute warning. We're gonna throw it up. Duvall, get mossed. Derwin James in the area. Guess maybe he wasn't Moss, but he was put on a poster. And Nick Duvall falling down after. It's a touchdown. Oh my goodness, what a what a play. That's what I try to do when I high point. I see one on one, but the ball's just gotta get there. And this time it does. James in coverage, he was close, but he wasn't close enough. Good luck covering a six foot four, 240 pound beast. That is Nick Duvall. Thibodeau hyped up. And uh, so far, Nick Duvall outplaying his former teammate, who is just on the bench, really, for the Eagles. So maybe that's not fair. Mark Whitlock. Yeah, Nick Duvall, dude. He is a monster. Goes without saying. It's 17 nothing. And when we have momentum, we look unstoppable. I think against the Bengals, when we didn't have momentum, you know, it was easy for them to score. But the Eagles have really struggled in this game as they're going to go deep. We're going to sit underneath that. Adoree Jackson gets in the way of Claypool but can't come away with the football. And that actually puts Adoree Jackson in the zone. We are going to go man coverage as a result. But I probably want to get him off the island. I'm going to match him up with like A.J. Brown or something. Because, oh my goodness, it's a screen. Bost is there. What a play by Bost. We're going to call a timeout. Bost the boss. Third and 14, we're going man coverage. It's gonna be Dory Jackson on Devontae Smith. They're gonna run the football, looking for space, and they found it up the middle. Who, who runs the ball on third and 14? We were in a heavy pass defense, just not expecting it. They're gonna go deep. Darnay Holmes, please! He takes away the football! Pick number two for Darnay Holmes! Oh my goodness, have a day, Darnay. Big play, Darnay. What else can I say? He makes play after play, except when he's getting torched, which does happen. But Darnay Holmes, man. Jalen Hurts just threw the ball up. We came away with it. And we have a chance to score here before the end of the half. Oh my goodness. This, this is a murder right now. But I'm not complaining. We're going to go underneath for Kadarius Tony. Part of why I like Nick Duval being in the zone with double me is because the computer's like, well, we got to double him then but that leaves everyone else wide open. So it's just like free yardage to any receiver that I want pretty much. Well, not necessarily any receiver I want, but free yardage. And I get it for like three or four plays. Because Nick Duval gets out of the zone when he's not targeted or, 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 or when you target him and he doesn't come down with the football. I probably should have thrown the ball up to Nick Duval there. Instead, uh, we're going to lose 10 seconds. Still call a similar play here. And uh, we can't get it over the top. It's nearly picked. It's going to be picked. It's incomplete. Duvall's out of the zone. We're actually really lucky that wasn't uh, an interception. Oh, Duvall's so open. Are you kidding me? Nick Duvall. We'll call a timeout. 14 seconds. All right. I think we threw a pick on this earlier. I like the four verticals angle here. We just gotta give one of our receivers a chance. And in order for that to happen, we gotta have time to throw it up. That's okay, that's fine. We're gonna come out in four verticals and we're gonna throw it to the end zone. If we're facing pressure, I guess we can afford to throw it away. Larry Smith, get it, get it, get it, Larry! Takes a huge hit. I didn't realize he was gonna be that open. I tried to high point it, it was a mistake. Because it's a touchdown if I don't high point this throw but I just didn't expect, I didn't expect the safety to be a brain dead idiot. Jabril Peppers just uh, tries to double cover Odell instead of taking away Larry Smith as I'm throwing. So the high point was just giving him a chance. 
but instead it ends up not giving us the touchdown. But I'm happy to take the field goal. I think that was a really, really good first half. Didn't play perfect, but we gave our players opportunities to make plays. Our defense played really well, and we're up 20 to nothing as a result. This is the type of performance that this team is capable of. We just obviously don't see it every single week. We'll get the football to start the second half here. Up 20 to nothing. Let's go, Larry. Give us a good return. Oh, how did he... Where did you even come from? Anthony Harris, where did you even come from? First down and 10. We're going to go to Barkley. Why is Avante Maddox all over that? Run with the slant. You're supposed to be out of the picture. They're playing hard flats. That's why. Annoying, though. Oh, we're under pressure. Cody Bailey's getting sacked. We just can't throw it away in time. They run the nickel blitz, and uh, we can't do anything. Also, the reason I called double slants back-to-back -back is I'm under code suggestions, and I'm actually under uh, recent plays, which is frustrating when that happens. It is third down and 18, though. It's going to be very hard to convert this, but not impossible. Larry Smith great catch in traffic. And we have an injury. It's Andrew Thomas. Oh, God. We've missed him for so much this year. Joseph Noteboom comes into the game at left tackle. Dude, we can't, we can't keep having this happen. Duval's open enough. We'll take the yards. Tremaine Edmonds creeping up. This could actually work to our advantage here running this trap play. It wasn't blocked well. It wasn't blocked well. But what should happen, as Andrew Thomas has a dislocated elbow, he's out for the game. What should happen is Jordan Davis shoots past and Chris Lindstrom blocks him out of the play. Instead, it just kind of gets like muffled up there because we can't get Glowinski to the next level. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. Third and five. Throw the curl. Oh, let's go, Tony. Dude, Devontae Maddox was on that, like, glue. He better not have been in a deep zone. He's in man coverage. All right, he played it. He played it great. He played it great. But we moved the chains regardless. We've only run the ball five times today. And that might change here in the second half, especially with runs like that. And there's another injury. It's Nick Duvall. So you're, you're, uh, I, we can't handle that. Arguably our two most influential players on offense injured on the same drive. Critical losses, critical losses if those are serious. Jaden Rhodes into the game. It's third down and three. Can't be afraid to run the ball in these spots. Let's do it. That's a decent enough block. Saquon's gonna get the first foot contusion. Uh, all right, Jaden Rhodes, you'll be playing the rest of this drive probably. I do not want to risk re-injury when the re-injury risk is high. Do not want to do that. But also, Jaden Rhodes doesn't have the vertical element to his game to clear out that Nick Duvall does, but he cleared out fine there. He said it'll work. Jaden Rhodes is more of that underneath slash red zone tight end. But we're going to throw that. Kadarius Tony catching it and going down immediately. Not trying to rack catch or anything. Uh, yeah, just sat down. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. We'll take it, his fifth catch of the game. It is first and 10 from the Giants into the red area now. That's how the trap is supposed to be blocked. Barkley gonna break a tackle, he's still going. Eight or nine there from Saquon. Second and one, they are daring me to scramble. And we're going to take off up the middle, Bailey sliding, Vanilla Vic. First down. Will be first and goal from the three. Nick Duvall back into the game. I really don't like that. He was in real quick after I told him, don't be in. We're gonna run the ball. I am I am concerned about Nick Duvall. But if he's in, I guess he's good to go. I guess he's good to play. It is second and goal. We're gonna step up. Bailey lowers his shoulder and fights for the end zone. He got it. Cody Bailey, Vanillovic, scrambles in for the touchdown. They accounted for every receiver. They didn't account for the quarterback. Cody Bailey took a mean hit at the end, but got into the end zone. It is 27-0. Let's go, Big Blue. Big Blue wrecking crew today. Our defense, I mean, it's night and day compared to the last game against Cincinnati. It's insane. 
we just were not able to stop the Bengals really but here against the Eagles we are I mean we're smashing them they really haven't had a ton of snaps either hurts 12 attempts but he's really been paranoid in the pocket as we got it's pancake alert oh my goodness McKinney please track him down Miles Sanders, a big run. He's done well. Seven rushes for 56 yards. Maybe a little bit skewed. Would have been six for like 35, which is still very good. About six yards per carry there. And Sanders, actually just a decoy here. There is a flag. Hopefully this one's coming back. Show me a hold. Show me a hold. Holding on the offense. Number 65. It'll be first and 20. I mean, that's a drive killer. They can still convert here pretty easily, I'm sure. If the CPU wants to. As there's Claypool. I mean, look at that. They got it all back. It's going to be second and eight. Hurts interceptions have really hurt uh, the Eagles a lot. Which is okay. I'm happy about it. Quick throw. Ooh. Nice tackle. Akeel Edmonds. Just waiting for him. And it'll be third and eight. I'm going to blitz Cooper. Cooper off the edge. Come on, throw it. They're throwing, and oh my God, they're completing to A.J. Brown. Adoree Jackson was there and could not stop him. That was a big third down, too. It really was. This game's not out of reach yet as Dallas Goddard's going to outrun Dontrell Cobb in coverage. It's first and goal. We might see one more play here in the, in the third quarter. Nope, Hurt doesn't get the snap off. We're going into the fourth quarter. We're up by 27. This would be a monumental collapse. But that being said, I don't really think that the offense should change too much. We've been very aggressive, but that's why we're up 27. But I also don't want to throw any interceptions and you know give them the opportunity to just drive down the field like they did just there. It's 27 to 7, three possession game, the entire fourth quarter to play. So we just got to uh, take time off the clock, but still control the possession. And it's probably going to be, you know, runs on first down and then passing on second and third, depending on the result. I don't know. I'm not going to commit to anything, but I'd like to get one run per every set of downs. But at the same time, if we don't move the football, I can't run the ball on second and nine consistently. I'm just not going to do that. I just don't think there was anywhere to go. I just don't. Now, I might be able to do this, though. A little touch pass. That keeps the clock moving, and we just couldn't get to the outside. He's got 98 speed. But it's already third and 14. <laughs> it's not good. I can see this play being pretty effective, though. Third and 14. Working off play action. We're going to lob it. Odell, sideline. Great ball and great catch. Bailey to Beckham. Unbelievable. That connection has been so bad the entire year. And when we got to have it under pressure, Bailey took a shot but delivered a dime. Downfield for Odell who makes the catch. Gets two feet down, gets a knee, gets an elbow, gets everything down. Oh, my goodness. Bailey with the the dime. Do we run the ball on second and seven? I think so. Our interior offensive line is not great. I really expect that to just be blocked differently. It's third and six. We've taken time off the clock, though. I think either way, this has been a pretty successful drive. We fit that in there. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful timing from Bailey to Tony. That was a, that was a dicey throw. But we beat the spot in the zone. Did exactly what you want to do there. Do an RPO. And we're going to run the ball. Barkley, stay up the middle. Beautiful. Second and four, more RPO action. We're going to go for Nick Duvall, actually. And it's intercepted! you got to be kidding me! That's the right call! Bailey chasing Bradbury! And Bradbury gets knocked out of bounds. That is a momentum killer. We ran an RPO. I don't think it was the wrong decision. You're basically reading Tremaine Edmonds at this point. And Tremaine Edmonds played the run, which meant Nick Duvall was wide open. And is that even a bad throw? 
No, Duval just... Why did he reach for the ball like this as opposed to like this? That is such an unlucky interception. Oh my god, you can't make this up. This is the beginning of the end. We've lost the game. Screen. Bossed over it. Big tackle. And if you're thinking of this, you lost the game. And if you don't know the game, that's tough. But if you know the game, you know you lost the game. Five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. After that probably confused a few of you, at least. Hurt's going to take off and Cobb brings him down. The King of New York kissed the ring. Dontrell Cobb, the Don, bringing down Jalen Hurts. Making it hurt here because it's third and long. Four and a half minutes to play. That was a huge play. Slant. Football came out. I mean, Claypool recovered his own fumble, but I don't think he fumbled. This is going to end up being like fourth and three after a review. They're not going to review it. And there's nothing to challenge. He didn't fumble. Was he not down? Broken tackle. I mean, that's just not a fumble. I guess the line wouldn't change too much. Feels like we're getting cheated, though. It's fourth and inches. Slant. They're going to the flag. Glenn Gore in coverage. At least he made the tackle. First down really doesn't matter there as long as it's not a touchdown. The quick score is our downfall right now. They just made us come out in three deep on first and 10 from the 22. Like the coordinator's throwing. Broken tackle from Claypool. He's down to the eight. Like why would we ever run prevent? Can I fire the DC dude? What a stupid coach suggestion. Brain dead. Run up the middle. Thibodeau's there. Aziz Ojolari is there. Yeah, keep running the ball. That's more time off the clock. I welcome it. I welcome it. 27-14, I wouldn't even care. Wouldn't even care. Read option. Hertz takes a shot from Dontrell Cobb. And Hertz is probably going to take every single second that this two-minute warning stoppage will give you. He just took a shot. Third and goal. I mean, we got to be aware of playing inside and underneath here. This definitely could be a slant or something. Going outside, lobbed, and incomplete. Cobb with decent enough coverage. It'll be fourth and goal. Game certainly on the line here for the Philadelphia Eagles. They need a touchdown. Nothing else will do. Hurts will throw and will be nearly intercepted by John Bost. Great coverage. Can't come away with the takeaway. But it is a turnover on downs regardless, which we'll count that as a turnover. Now we just need Saquon Barkley to bring it home for us. And they're not even going to bother calling timeouts. They've conceded. They said game over. Barkley, give me, let me get a block. Kadarius Tony, good block. Saquon, one of his biggest runs of the game. Would really love for that to end up being a touchdown, but just couldn't do it. And I, I found out I love running against double-A gap. I love it. Those linebackers get uh, sucked inside and he's able to completely exploit them. We try to take a shot and fall for it. Okay, they're going to make a stop there. Still no timeouts. Uh, it, the game's over. Or is it? Salt in the wound, potentially. We're going to go for two ball. Big catch down the sideline. Uh, go yourselves, Philadelphia. Uh, fuck was a word. It was... <laughs> All right, game over. Giants win. Merciless defeat of the Philadelphia Eagles here. Um, victory over the Philadelphia Eagles. And yeah, like, they might do something when they play at the Link. Lincoln Financial Field, week 18 of the season. For that little, uh, little design shot we took off play action and the game. Don't care. We're going to beat you. Cody Bailey, 25 of 33 for 343 and two touchdowns. 75% completion percentage. This is the best two interception game you're ever going to see, probably. One very unlucky. The other one at the start, I feel like. Or our second drive. Underthrown while taking a sack. I don't know. It's That's tough. You played a great game. Say that, haters. What are you going to do? Giants. Saquon Barkley, seven rushes for 83 yards. Bailey with a rushing touchdown as well. Uh, but Barkley was good. 4.8 per carry. Only three broken tackles, but... Darius Tony six for 59. Larry Smith, six for 85. Two touchdowns for Duval. 
on six for 112. Yeah, we got him another one at the end there. Could have been five for like 85, something like that. Saquon, five for 37. Five catches for Saquon this game. Only one catch for Odell, but it was a really important one. Only a couple drops for the boys. And then Jaden Rhodes caught a pass as well. Defensively, Dontrell Cobb, 11 tackles, including one for loss. John Bost, the boss, three tackles for loss for him. Thibodeau with two, including a sack. One for Edmonds, one for Dontrell Cobb. And the other sack went to Dontrell Cobb. He played a great game per usual. Two interceptions for Darnay Holmes. Good to see him back doing things. And then four fumbles. One for Edmonds, one for Adoree Jackson. We didn't recover either. But just generally a great game played from the entire team here. Nick Duvall, fittingly, with an upgrade, another huge game for him. He is just an absolute monster. Getting his route running better would be cool. His spectacular catch is only an 82, but catching traffic is super high. Speed and just catching in general are super high. I have double me an arm bar on him. Don't really stiff arm too much. I really want to get up to these, uh, these abilities here in the 85 range, but we need 85 overall possession for most of these. How does vertical threat have short in elite, but mid out elite is possession and, and deep out elite? I guess that's vertical threat. I don't know. We're going to go. We're going to go for possession this time around. See what that upgrades. Catching by one, impact block, lead block, medium route running by one, and strength as well. Pass block, finesse, and short route running by two. Don't mind those at all. Yeah, he is uh, becoming the very best tight end in the NFL. Big 27 to 7 victory over the Eagles. They really just did not look that good. And who is the new injury? Oh, Andrew Thomas, dislocated elbow. Uh, so, again, with the injuries, man. <laughs> starting left tackle, starting center. We just really can't catch a break right now, but I guess it's good reason or good thing that we traded for Joseph Noteboom like seven times in the offseason. Because he's not terrible. 76 overall, could do a lot worse than that at left tackle for a backup. But we need we need these guys to get healthy again. Week 11, you never know what the Jags are going to look like, but I think safe to say it's going to be a, an easier game than we've seen the past couple weeks. I guess you never know, especially in Jacksonville. They're a problem, but week 11, this is when we're really going to focus on some of these uh, players in the draft class for the first time this year. But thank you so much for watching. We improved to four and six. Eagles dropped to six and three. Cowboys five and four. This division still up for grabs. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.